The purpose of the cellular phone or smartphone is to communicate with the outside world, or sometimes those sitting right next to you. But when are you using your phone too much? There's Jake. Jake has an iPhone, but he uses it too much, way too much. Here now, let's learn smartphone etiquette by showing what Jake does wrong. In a business meeting at the office, everyone is paying attention to the daily activities. But there's Jake with his head down. Under the table, there's that smartphone. Your coworkers notice more than you think. Not very smart, Jake. What should you do instead? To appear engaged as a team player, leave your phone at your desk. If you're expecting an urgent call, mention it before the meeting and excuse yourself and step away when you take that call. In longer meetings, schedule a short break to check emails and phone messages, and most of the time, it can wait. And no matter what, put that phone on silent or vibrate. Yeah, after work, we can get together. Yeah, we can talk about it at Henry's across the street. Boy, that's annoying. Excuse me? Yes, that's right, Jake. Annoying. Says who? We do. Instead, Jake should always take personal calls in a private place. Hearing someone talk loudly can be distracting and discourteous. Go to an empty conference room to make that call. What if it's urgent? In that case, lower your voice and apply a 10-foot rule to the nearest person as a general rule, so your private business stays just that, private. Uh-oh, not in the car. Hang it up, Jake, even if you're at the red light. How did you get in my car? That doesn't matter. Handling your phone while driving is illegal. Here's an easy solution. Use a hands-free device. There's a function on your phone, too, that blocks incoming calls while you drive. And if it's too tempting, make a rule to silence your phone and stash it away before you start the car. Smart move, Jake. I'm so glad we could finally go to lunch together. Me too. Oh, just a second. Not so fast, Jake. That's considered rude and not smart smartphone etiquette. Instead, prioritize human contact and resist the urge to take that call. If it's urgent, ask for permission first. And ask yourself this, what impression am I making if the phone is more important? Okay, sorry about that. You never know how bad your smartphone habits might offend someone else.